only my friends who can apply known as Udomariam. Udomariam actually uh, started when I played uh, at the First Lady concert in one of the uh, national events in Abuja. And that time, the then First Lady, uh, late Dr. Miriam Rangida, saw me with admiration of what I was doing, performing with my instrument, and came to the stage and carried me and said, this is my beloved son, you know I'm well pleased. And that gave birth to the name Don Maria because she said I'm a second son. Definitely, I am still in contact with the family because uh, as at January 29th, uh, they did event in memory of her, which I was one of the speakers at the event. The event took place at Transcom Hilton Hotel in Abuja, and I was there. We had uh, former first ladies from 1960 to 2015, their presence at that event. So I'm still in contact because at that event, I made a speech. And I said I have reunited back with my family, and they were very happy that they saw me after many years of not being in contact with them. So that unity is still there. I was four or five years old when I met her. I was four or five years old when I was playing because I started very young at the tender age of play. So I, I think when I went, I, I went for that event. I was around five to six years old. We cellophone. My cellophone actually is a icon. We call it icon. And it's been, a, we, we, we get it from the forest, where we have, where the forest that we, we see, we, we, we get all these rubbers, rubbers for a forest that we, we, we get some wood, we bring it out to the timber, then we now carve the wood differently to, to give us the kind of sounds that we need. So, but I believe that my own is a little bit magic inside, which I, 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 I can't say for now. Actually, how... I, I saw myself playing xylophone. I, I started picking things of beverages from the bush. I gathered it, me and my senior brother, we sat down in front of our compound, we started uh, bringing out some good sounds out of it. Then one man passed one day and saw us playing that. His name is Mr. Patrick Idion. We are from the same village, uh, the same community, the same family. The man passed and he, he knew that we were bringing out some good, unique sounds out from that since of beverages, which we never knew where it's going to take us to. He now branched and took me and said, okay, that he would like to take us to a group. From there, he took us to one group called Ikri Minuta, in which I started playing drums, two drums like this in front. They said, drum, he now, the man sang and said, I should play whatever I like to play. If I can now transfer the little uh, things of beverages I was, I was creating into the drums. I now started playing the drums. Then from there, I saw myself playing on the phone. He now said, okay, try what he did that on that drums on the xylophone. In which I played it to an ambient man sound that was a from there. And now stop. a good xylophone player you have to have passion about sound and commit to the music i think with that uh, with that you go far because when the music plays inside of you it's like a spirit that, that is moving you around so i think when you have the passion and you allow the sound to be inside you that means you're committed in order school level i was in at kings and queens Montessori Nordic school then i i my secondary school level was uh, your high school in your apartment state, then my teacher institution university level, I went to last Lagos State Polytechnic in Lagos State, and I now finish at the Aquarium State Polytechnic in Aquarium State. I studied business management. In Lagos, I did business management, then I completed my HND with business management. I chose business management because I wanted to know the business part of the music. Because with the business uh, argument and the, the business idea that I've, I've gotten from school, I think I'll be able to manage my music very well. 
and because I, 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 originally the music is inside of me, so I need the business part of it to be able to move ahead and push ahead. That was why I chose business management because it's part of the music management. I would say Salivone is taking over the world, not just Africa, because I think we have we have made a trademark in Africa already. I think we have some African uh, playing uh, countries that are playing xylophones right now, and I think whatever what we're going to do now is, is for us to make it a, a global thing that the whole world is going to embrace xylophone because xylophone is very unique. It's not it's not common. It's, it's different from from the normal saxophone and normal piano. I think it's something that everybody should invest. So I think it's xylophone we are taking it very well. In the world. I think actually uh, one can build a career with xylophone because I'm known for playing xylophone right from the tender age of three till now and I've traveled far and wide. I've been to several countries uh, with and without, uh, uh, with, with, uh, I've been to several countries outside, the, outside Nigeria. I've traveled to US, Turkey, London, Japan, to mention what about a few. And I've, I've performed in front of so many uh, head, 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 of, head of states, like I, I, I performed when Bill Clinton came to Nigeria, that was 2000. I performed in uh, uh, ECOWAS Summit. I've, I've, I've performed in so many national events in Nigeria and outside Nigeria. So if 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 I did not build a career with a xylophone, I, I wouldn't have been to all these places. So I think with xylophone, you have a career. The major challenge I think we have with the Salivon playing country because uh, I think is, is it has not been given the the basic publicity publicity that we need. But I think right now I think with what I'm doing right now I think the world will, go, will come to know that there's need for them to embrace xylophone, and those countries will not have those challenge again. I would say xylophone doesn't it, it, it cut across all events. It doesn't have a boundary of any events. You can perform in any festival, weddings, and it, it, I think it's, it's all events. It doesn't have any boundary of, okay, this event is, is for this or for that. If you, if you can have if you can have the likes of B-Square performing in one festival, I think Zalophonists it's, it's can perform in that festival because whatever, whatever thing they are doing, with their, our uniqueness in Zalophone will, will surpass whatever they, they would have been before. So I think Zalophone cut across every kind of event.